What's up, I'm Kyle and this is the Vervet Forest. Baby season is just around the corner and we are very excited for the work to come. In the meantime, I thought I'd put together a little episode to showcase the most amazing orphan transformations of this past baby season. But before we get into it, I just wanna make a couple of quick announcements. First of all, please remember to watch through the advertisements at the beginning of the videos. That helps us to earn money. Please remember to like the videos and subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. If you'd like to purchase some t-shirts to help rep the Vervet Forest, we've also got hoodies and bags and mugs and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, you can head on over to our Teespring, which is uh, in the link is in the description below the video. Also, if you want to become a patron to help me personally to continue making these videos for you guys, you can head on over to our Patreon. That link is also in the description below the video. And uh, yeah, so this episode basically, you know, every year we get these monkeys in, these orphans in that just, we just don't know how they're going to pull through. We just don't know if they're going to make it. And those stories end up being the most amazing transformations and these monkeys end up overcoming the most ridiculous odds. So today I'm gonna to focus on five very special little monkeys, uh, Merlin, Elliot, Jerry, Stick, and Dumbo. Number five on our list is Dumbo. Dumbo and his mom were hit by a car while they were crossing the road. Dumbo's mom took the brunt of the impact and died shortly after. Dumbo was left battered and bruised on the side of the road. Fortunately for him, a kind human couple took him to the vet where he was diagnosed with a concussion and he received stitches on his brow line. But otherwise, he was doing all right. Dumbo quickly moved from quarantine over to Disneyland where he joined Mr. Miyagi. A few days later, Dumbo moved over to a sick bay intro enclosure where he got to meet the moms and other monkeys through the fence and was soon joined by another female orphan named Megan. Not too long after that, Dumbo joined the troop. And although the day got off to a rough start, Dumbo assimilated very quickly. <laughs> Stop being annoying. <laughs> he has no chill. <laughs> Dumbo has recovered perfectly from all of his trauma and injury, and he's been living the good life with his foster mom, Chicken, who loves him very much. Number four on the list is Elliot. Elliot's story was a little strange. The people who turned him over to us claimed that his mom had been attacked by eagles. And the eagles had carried her off with Elliot attached to her stomach. Then the eagles mauled and dropped the mom, but Elliot survived. Elliot was in shambles for a very long time. He cried all day and all night in Tori's cabin while she looked after him. His sorrow and his desire for his mom were absolutely heartbreaking to watch because there was nothing we could do to comfort him. Once he got to Disneyland and joined the other babies, he calmed down quite a bit. But he was still very depressed and spent most of his time hanging on the highest perch, cuddling with Merlin. Eventually, Elliot was moved to Engelke Troop, and his whole demeanor shifted. He finally seemed to have some life back in him and was very excited to meet the troop monkeys through the fence. Um, is he the, him? the day that Elliot got to meet his foster mom, Bisou, might have been one of the best days of his young life. They fell in love instantly, and Elliot was as happy as could be. 
So, before tomorrow night, you need to make sure that he's with a mum. Because you can stay if she likes. Um, Elliot spent a few more weeks in the enclosure with the moms and other babies and became quick friends with a juvenile named Boo Boo. In the end, Bisou took Elliot out into the troop and all was well. It was <laughs> such a slow theft. Elliot doesn't cry for his mom anymore. He's happy as can be, hanging out with his friends, and he's assimilated perfectly into troop life. And sometimes I wonder if he even remembers the traumatic start to life that he had. Number three on the list is Jerry. Jerry was also hit by a car while crossing the road with her mom. Her mom was killed instantly, and Jerry's foot was badly broken. Jerry was just a tiny little lady when she arrived into our care. For a couple of weeks, Jerry had to wear a bandage on her foot that was changed every day. Jerry was smaller than everyone else and was pretty immobilized by her bandage, so she sat around most of the time just looking confused. About 10 different spells of diary in these books. I still use spell check. Slowly but surely, she got her mobility back, and once her foot was nearly healed, the bandage was removed. At that time, Jerry and Merlin were the only two babies in Disneyland, and they formed a great bond. Not long after, Jerry was moved to the Goliath intro enclosure, where she met Joby, Dee Dee, and the moms through the fence. One of our best foster moms named Mrs. Gold quickly fell in love with little Jerry and they joined the troop together. And although Jerry has grown and become more independent, she is still close with Mrs. Gold to this day. If you'd like to donate to the Vervet Monkey Foundation, you can use the link in the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description below the video. That's donate.vervet.za.org. Also, if you'd like to volunteer here at the Vervet Monkey Foundation to work with the monkeys, these babies have a good time hanging out, get to live in the African bush, then head on over to our website, vervet.za.org, and download the volunteer PDF. That link is also in the description below the video. Number two on the list is Mr. Stick. Stick arrived to us on Christmas Eve. He had been attacked by dogs on a local farm. Stick was in horrible condition. His leg and tail were broken and he had puncture wounds all over his body. Though Stick was in shock, Dave and Tori did their best to stabilize him. As soon as the vets were open, a couple of days later, we got Stick's leg x-rayed and it showed a gnarly break. So we took him to the vet in Palabora where he had a pin inserted into his leg. As with most vervets, Stick recovered very quickly. But Stick's tail was not healing, so he had to have the bottom half amputated. Unfortunately, due to all of his movement around Disneyland, the pin pushed its way out of Stick's leg, forming a new hole, and he had to be taken back to the vet. Fortunately, the timing was perfect, and it turns out that Stick's leg was healing up perfectly. So the vet gave Stick a custom splint for his leg and sent him on back to the VMF. After a few more weeks, although his leg was still stiff, Stick went over to the Angle Key intro enclosure with Hannah and Elliot and got to meet the troop. At first he was a little nervous, but down the road when his time finally came to go out into the troop, he was more than happy to get out there and be hanging around with Elliot and be Sue.
These days, Stick is completely healed up. He's not held back by anything. He's got full <laughs> mobility in his leg. The fact that he has half a tail doesn't even matter to him. He's running around playing all the time and his best friend is this other little monkey in the troop who's this tiny little guy who's been sick so many times in his life and his name is Theo. And Theo and Stick are just best buds playing all the time. Number one on the list is everyone's favorite monkey, Merlin. Merlin's origin story was simple. He was found alone in the bush, extremely malnourished, dehydrated, and terrified of everything. Merlin was in quarantine longer than any other baby this past baby season and he just really didn't want to eat, he didn't want to drink, and he had no bottom teeth and seemed to be in a lot of pain all of the time. Even when he was moved to Disneyland, Merlin had to be isolated because he was too weak to play with the other babies. Just like Tori. And when he finally did join the other babies, he wanted nothing to do with them. No, I just made that up. No, they, can't. Like, they do, like, they bring it over and I'm like, what time they're supposed to get this? No. It wasn't until Merlin and Jerry were all alone in Disneyland that Merlin finally came out of his shell and made a friend and even wanted cuddles. Keep focus. But Merlin's biggest change came the day that he moved to the D&D intro enclosure. When he realized where he was and what was going on, that was the happiest I'd ever seen Merlin. When it came time to meet the moms, Merlin did not hesitate. He fell madly in love with an all-star foster mom named Phyllis, and the two of them became inseparable. You could just see like a little tail, and he like wrapped himself around a branch with loads of leaves. So it was just completely camouflaged. When it was their time to join the troop, Merlin went out full of confidence. It only took about a week before it looked like he had been out in D&D Troop his entire life. Mm -hmm. These days, Merlin is living his best life, and he is a far cry from that terrified, malnourished little monkey that first arrived into our care. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to check out the links in the description below the video and leave some comments letting me know if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see some more best of stuff from past baby season. All right, see you guys next time.